Yeah, Indian food, I've seen countless of videos online and the hygiene levels, and you know. I think that is the extreme case. The weather, it's not outside. Not the best. At the moment, but it's, it's alright. So, you can see a street vendors down there and some of them are not allowed to be there so the police always chase them um, especially when it comes to the food hygiene so i live in a downtown area here in Tianjin so what i'm going to do i'm going to make my way in there and grab some food i'm not going to make food at the moment i'm just coming out from work now today i only have one class which is fantastic So, here in China, once you order something on Mate One and then at your apartment, they will leave you on the deck and everything is sealed. And uh, I think for the most part, it's very, very safe. And these guys, they have this this is where I normally get my water from. And then you order it on the Mate One hat, and then they'll come and deliver it to your place it's only 20 yuan about look at the size of that one let me show you power and it's only 20 yuan so 20 to 25 yuan maximum you will pay so the one thing i'll say is yeah here in china you can't drink the tap water no chance you understand so if you do that it will upset your, your stomach and it is not nicely processed so compared to my country um, the UK I drink the tap water it literally although some people don't drink it but I drink it and it's totally fine so um, yeah but it's not the same as well in India yeah I'm pretty sure you can't I think for the most part of Asia you just can't drink the tap water a lot of countries you can't maybe only a few here in Asia you can drink from the tap These things are literally everywhere. You can't run away from them. This is their season. Yeah, it's life. Just get all the flow in. Get on with your life, really. So food safety here in China, what can I say? I've been living here in China and I've been trying, I mean, countless of Chinese snacks, food, on, I shop at Chinese grocery places and uh, yeah and i've seen how people handle certain stuff and uh yeah food in china um the safety wise well i've never experienced any diarrhea and trying chinese food yes of course the spicy side of it i'm not a fan of spicy food here in china let me just walk it's better i'm not a fan of the spicy food here in China they are too spicy for me man I mean by the time I I finish that yeah the after effect yes, it's not lush let's put it that way I need to stop walking I'm gonna get inside very soon so you see here a lot of people have umbrellas do you know and uh, yeah it, it, it's it's for a reason I don't I'm not complaining again like when I see these people have the umbrella it is really hot <laughs> it's too hot bloody hell man's not hot out here well you see in China China is trying its best to get rid of what is it this street vendors um, well yeah I think for a, for a good reason of course you have to understand then again these people it's their livelihood 
and uh, yes, um, so a lot of people in this part of the world. Of course, some people do struggle as well, you know, to make ends meet. You know, we're all living in a very uh, difficult times at the moment. Um, there are winners, there are losers, there are people experiencing hardship. Um, yeah, so inflation is another problem. I think it's global, you understand? It is global and it's not just happening in the country. The countries I've previously been to and Western countries also happening everywhere here as well in China. So most people want to set up their little show. I'll show you, let me show you. And then I'll talk over there. You see over there, that's another street vendor right there. And if I pan to this side, you'll see another street vendor. And of course here, yeah, you have malls, one mall, another one. You've got a bank right there. You have the famous chain, Burger King, fast food from the US. You have that at the Zap place. You have a coffee, a coffee place if you want to drink some coffee. And uh, let's talk about the handling process in terms of China. The way people handle your stuff here, your food. Well, I see a lot of um, foreigners are coming into the country now. The borders slightly, you know, a, a lot more, let's say, relaxed in terms of restrictions. And in fact, there's no restrictions at all, you know. So you can come to China, the visa rules. Um, yeah, you can come and enjoy China for a bit. It's much, much open than before. So maybe you might worry that um, maybe Chinese food is not for me. Maybe they they don't know how to handle the food properly there. Maybe the way of pre preparing your food is on hygienic. Well, listen. Like I said, I've been living here for a while, and I tell you what, I've never gotten sick. I am in good shape, but I feel happy. Yeah, I'm a little bit chubby. It's worse. You know, at times, if not careful, you'll put on a lot of weight here. A lot of the vendors, when they prepare your food, they wear gloves. I feel like I'm beating around the bush, I'm sorry. They're wearing gloves. I just have so much pain in my mind right now, it's insane. But this is just like a vlog style, really. Um, they have, they're, they're wearing gloves. They don't trust your food with bare hands. They use scissors to cut your meat. Yeah, so that's the thing here, I realize. Also, I'll say, the way they handle the food is very good. But of course, in Chinese food is so highly, super, super highly, you know? And uh, that's another thing. Hello, how are you, okay? You wanna say hi? Come on, say hi, come, come, come. Come on, come on, come, 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 say hi. Come on, come on, come on. No? You're going over there? Yeah. What's your name? Ew! Nice to meet you, Ew! Alright. Listen. Probably gonna be like, Sheku, I don't understand your times, you know? You're super annoying, isn't it? I am annoying. Anyways, um, I digress from that. Let's talk about food, alright? Romance later. Because guys will never stop talking about Roman. The thing about me, you have to understand, is like I'm very vocal. You know, you may not like the thing I might say. You may think I'm trying to turn target um, China. Or what? No, 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 no. You are, you are so wrong about me. You know, I don't do YouTube for money, for fame, for likes of you. If I want to do YouTube for likes of you, you will see me exaggerate, praising every little thing, and I could be like. Wow, look how gorgeous this bike is. Look how organized this line is. You can't find this in the West. Do you know what I mean? I can do that. You know, wow, look how, look how wow structure. Wow, label, so clean. Clean on. See, do you think I'm not capable of doing that? I'm a man with so many ability. I'm not going to go inside anymore because I feel like it's better you get a, a nice feel of things in this area. I'm very close to home. Um, I'll tell you what, listen, yeah? A good friend will tell the facts, will not sugarcoat things. I'm a very good friend of China. 
and I believe that. I think in order for me to, to come in terms with things here, yeah, I have to be honest, I have to embrace the reality of life here. And um, when I share things, of course, it's going to hurt your feelings because I'm a foreigner and uh, you don't expect a foreigner to speak openly like I do about the things that frustrate them living here. But of course, this is my channel and I want people to understand exactly, right? So now, let's shift on to India. Right, what can I say about India? Well, it's a country I'm fascinated by, I'm not going to lie to no one. You're going to be like, what? Of all country, India fascinate you, Sheku. Are you normal? Are you okay? Listen, I'm a guy that seek pleasure everywhere I go. You understand? I find a little thing... <laughs> I find pleasure in every little thing, honestly. Um, I think... India is very colourful, um, especially growing up in the UK. There are quite countless of Indians. Um, even my, one of my best friends growing up, he, he was Indian as well. His name is Gaurav Shaman. Tell me that is not a proper, typical Indian name. I am pretty sure. Yeah, Indian food, I've seen countless of videos online and their hygiene levels, and, you know. I think that is the extreme case. Yes, it doesn't look pretty and um, the area in which the food has been prepared, you see rats um, growing around. I doubt if that is reality, I really doubt. I think maybe that is just for social media clicks. But I don't think we should judge a country based on videos we see online. Terrible videos like that. I'm pretty sure um, growing up in the UK, I've, I've seen where it, where food has been prepared, you understand? Indian food, you know? It's safe, man. Honestly, safe. The chef, they're wearing gloves, you know? Then again, you're gonna be like, oh, it's the UK, of course, there are gonna be rules and laws when it comes towards that and handling food. Yes, you're right. Is it the same in India? Well, I can't actually say because um, I haven't been to India. I think um, a lot of the visuals you see online is just exaggerated. And a lot of people who have never been to India, they've seen this sort of video. And then they may think, oh, all Indians are like that. You know, I don't want to jump in that wagon and say Indians are dirty and all that. Because I've never been to India, you know. I cannot make such judgments. I cannot quickly, um, let's say, jump into conclusions. I think it's totally wrong, you know. And I've seen a few comments over the, uh, over the time. It's over the past few months I've been living here people are saying you know some people random comments that doesn't make no sense oh try visit in India and see you know see what but then the thing is that when I go to a place I don't look for trouble listen I don't want you to think oh Sheku oh, I want to go to a place it will just think of the most insane ideas and then it will just create a video hateful video you are delusional my videos yeah my ideas are coming from a place of knowledge, a place of respect, a place of, you know, and um, acknowledging the pros and the, the cons, at the same time, try to put it out there in a way that can create a reaction of change, understanding and proper communication, you know, and uh, I don't think Indian food are that bad, honestly. I've tried Indian food in Vietnam, I've tried Indian food in the UK, in fact, when I was studying, yeah, at university, I used to do part-time as a waiter, you understand? <laughs> I used to do a waiting job, right, for a company. And I remember this company, it's called the Hospitality Company, right? In London, really, they used to take us to Manchester for wedding, right? Indian wedding. Indian weddings are massive, thousands of people. There was one I went to, was, what is it, 2,000 people? 2,000 people! How the heck? And they splash so much money on their weddings and the food are so heavy i can tell you for sure the food are so heavy i've never in my life tasted indian food until i started doing my what is it my part-time job when i was at uni doing hospitality waiting job oh my god man i was swell that nan bread that nan that nanin bread oh i like it like it but the more you eat indian food is so heavy man the food is too heavy make a dose out here so if you're a vegetarian, voila, jackpot. So it's just Indian street food. Can you see that? Amazing. Let me get a bit closer. 
Look at the way the guy's making his thing, man. It's going all the way around. La la la. They say, just remind me of roti. Roti, man. <laughs> if you just finish the naan bread and the chicken tikka masala, you're full for the whole day. Honestly, um, yeah. I think the food in India, in the UK, Indian food I've tried, spectacular. And also the one in Vietnam and also in Malaysia. Remember, Malaysia also have a huge Indian population. So when I was there, the way they prepare the food, I've never felt sick Indian eating Indian food, right? Maybe, maybe it's different in, in India, India, you understand? So there's only one way to find out when I get to India. But I've heard stories, I've seen videos, people saying Delhi belly. Well, it depends. If you're going to eat from the street, street food, you have to check um, the vendor, the way they prepare it. Of course, if I see a vendor scratching the bum bum or picking the nose, I'm not going to eat there. You know, of course, the visuals you've seen, you know, of course, I'm not going to do that. It's, it's, it's insane. You know, really insane. Of course, um, I've seen videos about Mumbai, you know, Delhi from vloggers, not just reporters, from vloggers. Yeah, they got some nice side of India as well. And of course, India is a developing country. So I don't want to put a country that is developing down because they're trying, they're trying to improve, especially India, badly destroyed by the Brit, you know, the British, due to the way the country was divided and ruled for so long and so little development were made in that place, you understand? So yeah and it's a good thing they're improving and i just hope india can also work with china and apply some principles and, and rules and regulations in terms of like making sure they polish that reputation of their street food because i think street foods are very important this is a car on away from there it's very important to our culture you understand so it's it's really it's really important they need to preserve that because when you look at it um, there are quite a lot of poor people in india many many poor people so the only food they can afford is eating from the street yes some vendors can be questionable even here in china you understand so i'm not going to say um, china is an angel you know i'm a friend of china i love china i love it very much you understand so I don't want you to think I hate China. Of course, my videos will not get views. Uh, it will, but I don't create it for that. You know, but hopefully one day you will stumble into these videos and then you'll be like, wow, maybe if you're thinking to move here, you'll be like, wow, this guy has been honest, he's been truthful, right? And uh, I'm, not I'm not looking to grow. I, am, I, I gave up on becoming famous on YouTube, gaining a lot of subscribers. In fact, I don't want too much attention. I want my life to be a bit low key, you know? So anyways, that's it. And uh, I will say, surely for now, China has improved substantially. But of course, never drink the tap water here. And uh, so are so many Asian countries. But other than that, the food here, fantastic. Very, very clean, very safe, you know. And uh, I don't know about the scandals some people experience. I've never experienced that, but deep down, uh, I don't see a major concern trying street food here in China and I hope they don't get rid of it totally because I think it's still very important to a country like China, you understand? So that's it and uh, let me know what's your opinions when it comes to a topic like this. Yeah, so hygiene in China and India. Have you been to India? Let me know what's your experience been like. Is it really that bad compared to the vi like just like the videos you just saw? Is it really that bad? I doubt it. I think that they're just putting a show. You understand? Yeah, it doesn't look good. It looks absolutely disgusting, man. So if that is real, damn, then these people need to be locked up. They need to be spanking the bum bum.